Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of Hunting with Pratze and um, again on Hjemmeldal. Uh, today we are starting from Drengstorp and um, yes I think um, I set something up actually. Um, we still have our bear bite barrel that we set up last time here and I have another one here. This one has about 50% um, attractiveness. This is freshly set up so there is zero um, attractiveness but um, I hope, um, or well, we might check it out anyways uh, but I, I don't know yet. And um, yes, um, but that's something we will do later um, because it's a long way from down here up up to the barrel so uh, I first want to check out the uh, southern part of uh, part of this map and um, I think I first will check out well should we check out that stand even I think we straight go to this one and I do have a tent with me that I plan to set up somewhere here in the middle um, probably more towards the the uh, east so I have uh, easy access to, to this area here as well. Um, yeah, so that's basically the plan. And um, down here in the south there is supposed to be more roe deer and um, moose and not so much bears, especially in the west of this map. So. Um, we will see about that how it goes and um, yeah well the plan is we, we just first check out here this uh, southern area a little bit um, hope we have some hunting success maybe get a big moose bull that would be perfect um, maybe we go also to this area here um, and then I wanna restart from my tent up here in the north and uh, then we check out my 50% um, attractiveness bear barrel which I think should produce some action um, and yeah we just go from there so um, as for the weapons I this time take the 8x57 unshits and um, yeah, it is not as strong as the uh, uh, 9362, but it uh, it has still some great stopping power and um, it's a it's a really nice rifle, one of my favorites, also by the looks. And um, yes, also we take with us the. Parker Python compound bow because as you guys remember we uh, set up the tree stand next to the barrel and I have tree stands on both barrels and um, I'm really feeling like doing some nice tree stand bow hunting today um, yeah let's hope we have some good excess, uh, success okay so uh, let's go we have set our waypoint already and um, yeah as always I'll be back when something happens okay guys I just picked up the call of a moose and um, just interesting um, thing to tell um, that here on Hjemmeldal the moose seems to be much more in groups as well as the road deer and um, I read in the comments on uh, my videos um, so from you guys basically that this is um, because of the winter um, road deer seem to uh, uh, group together um, in the winter time so um, obviously 
this is um, the reason why it is that way and for moose it seems to be just the same so uh, I might oh guys look at this there's a bear wow so already thank you to that female moose because if if I wasn't curious to check out the moose I would have not changed direction to run into that bear okay guys let's see how close we can get to it I think that should be enough I need him to stop oh well <laughs> oh, that was intense. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Wow. I'm curious how good that how good that um rifle shot uh that um bow shot was. Oh, let's see here. Oh, that looks like lung blood. But I still don't know if that was from the rifle shot or the bow shot. Oh, that was intense. I I didn't see what if that was a boar or a sow, but from the temperament, <laughs> I think it's a sow. I don't know. I just have the feeling by the looks of it. Oh, it could be a boar as well. We will find out. Yes, it's a boar. And we got along with the uh, with the arrow, which is really good. Score of twenty three point one one zero. Oh boys, I'm pleased with that one, and <laughs> it provided some great action. Whew. Let's try to set him up a little bit better. Oh, like this is okay. Wow, that's a big bear. Yes! <laughs> so, um, now you guys can tell that I rather sit in a tree stand <laughs> when uh, taking a bow shot at a brown bear. Wow, that was some great action. This is why I love this game so much. Awesome. <laughs> Ooh. I was lucky enough to um quickly change to the rifle because um a second bow shot is always well you could do that as well but it's uh, it's more risky actually course um, you need less time to shoot again with the bow when you have have it right raised up uh, raised up already but still I felt uh, more safe with um, using the the, the um, using the rifle Wow <laughs> okay guys um, I think that was good action um to start with and um now i continue my way towards the um towards the tower and um i'll be back whenever something happens okay guys we are getting very close to the stand to the tower and um just by the way i just got a text from my brother telling me that we reached 900 subscribers right now um that's just <laughs> awesome i'm really stunned to be honest um just in my last video uh, i announced reaching the 800 mark and now we already are at 900 so um i'm stunned really 
this is uh, this is amazing. Um, also, I gotta say, um, all the messages you guys write me, um, especially on the profile page, the hunter. Um, by the way, you find me on the hunter. My name is Pratze there. Um, not with the 86 that is my YouTube channel um, I did also set up an account a guest account with Pratsy86 just to make sure no one takes that away um, so um, yeah um, I just f I'm just stunned and uh, I'm also sorry that I lately can't produce so many videos but you know it's uh, just by the way I just thought of putting out some moose urine scent um, because I just heard a female moose calling and um, as I said before there's a higher chance to see them in groups so I am hoping there is a big bull with them that's why I did that so yeah just um, sorry for the lack of videos lately but I'm just um, really busy at the moment and um, just don't worry I will keep this thing up I will not stop making videos or anything um, it's just always a matter of how much time I have and look at this this is a great great tower you have really perfect view from here you can see all the way through like all the way through this um, valley here this is a perfect stand really like this spot um, I'm just thinking when using a rifle on a stand um, as you can see you can only only look over that when you are in normal standing position so of course when using a rifle you have the wobble as if you would free-handed um, use the rifle in a standing position and that is something that I dislike about the towers um, because in reality nobody would take a freestanding shot from a tower because you have this this um, planks here to rest your rifle on but that's not possible in the game yet so um, that is something I really hope that will be improved um, this is something definitely uh, worth improving about this game because you know you have you have good cover in this you you, you uh, yeah you don't get spotted or scented um, very easy which is a huge advantage that a stand is providing you also in reality but um, to be not able to get a really good steady aim from the tower that is something which is not realistic and I really hope that this will be improved so that's just a little critics from my side here but all in all um, well I think it has been mentioned countless times and um, I just think that it's something that seems to be rather hard to uh, to bro program or something because otherwise I think that developers would have already um, looked into it okay guys so we are waiting for that moose which is hopefully more than only the female that we heard and um, I'll be back whenever something happens here okay guys there is the first female moose arriving 
and I just heard a call of another one in that direction so um, this one so far seems to be roaming on its own oops didn't meant to do that oh here we go here we go guys <laughs> I said it it is possible great that's awesome guys just the wind is really bad hope I won't get busted and I also hope that I will be able to take a shot with the bow but I think first I do have to yes I do and I want to use the rangefinder it's very important to uh, to use the rangefinder when um, bow hunting unless you really have a good feeling for the distance okay that's good enough no that's good okay that should be good and um, this is really cool the um, the position here on that stand can really watch the animal for a long time and this one seems to be going further than I won wanted to shot maybe the shot wasn't that good so I better pull another shot off Of course, um, this might have spooked the other moose that was coming from that direction, which also could have been in company with a bull. <laughs> Who knows? So um, let's just wait a little bit and um, I will refresh my scent eliminator and also refresh the scent down there the moose scent and then we'll take it from there actually while we are putting out some more scent we can check out the sort of shot we took at him with the bow and it was not a good shot it's body hit so it's a good thing that I did take another shot at him with the rifle so that was a right decision there and I'm going to put out some more moose scent and whilst we are here we can also put out some roe deer scent as well and now back to the stand and waiting some more so um, you can see um, tower or stand hunting any kind of um, sitting somewhere um, like in a in a um, ground blind or tree stand or tripod it requires a lot of patience and um, it sort of ha has to um, fit your hunting style also because um, if you're more the stalking kind of hunter um, it will really feel boring to sit in a tree stand or a tower for a long time waiting but for me um, probably also because I'm European and um, in Europe this is uh, actually the most common style of hunting um, this is actually a, a main part of hunting for me um, 
to be patient to sit somewhere and wait for the animals to come in and um, yeah that's why I love to do that and yeah so um, it requires patience um, of course you guys can only tell from looking at the time of day on the hunter mate um, how long I've been waiting because I do cut the waiting out most of the time um, but you know sometimes I really sit here very long and I recently watched a video of a fellow youtuber um, a German guy his name is Henry um, and he had a, um, a bear, bear barrel um, and uh, a ground blind and he basically sat there all yeah all day kind of I think he put maybe three hours real time maybe I'm not sure but something like that into it and he guys he he took down like pff, I don't know I, I, I couldn't count how many bears it was like seven or something at least yeah it's amazing so patience sometimes really pays off okay guys oh well when I'm talking about the bear barrel and waiting um, you guys know that if you shoot a bear at the barrel the, the attractiveness of your barrel goes down to zero but that doesn't mean that it is not attracting bears anymore because um, otherwise this guy that I was telling about just right now um, would would have not been able to back himself like seven plus bears in one hunt so that a currency percentage that you see when you click on the barrel that only um, indicates the um, amount of or like the the bears that get sp spawned right around the barrel from the start so um, it is not that if you shoot a bear there no bear is anymore attracted to the barrel the same goes for setting up a barrel you can straight away um, go to your tree stand when you set up the barrel and wait if there's not any bear coming by because it will be attracted by the barrel itself the attractiveness um, that is shown to you on the map like when you start a hunt you have this list of lodges to the right and beneath that uh, underneath each hunting reserve you can see what what you have put out there on the reserve for example tree stands or, s or ground blinds and also barrels and if you click on that barrel icon you will see the um, attractiveness of your barrel and that only tells you about um, how many bears will spawn around that barrel when you start your hunt so the bear barrel when filled with bite always is attracting bears that's maybe an uh, important thing to know and um, I'm not sure if there if I saw something there no there's nothing okay guys we will just wait a little bit more and um, I'll be back when something happens okay guys we have a buck calling and he's he's going to get here right from the from that direction um, something I noticed is when um, luring in roe deer with scent the bucks don't seem to start trotting uh, this is very realistic because um, roe deer hunting um, and um, you know that that collar that you can use is mostly used or like actually only used uh, in the rut and um, it mimics a uh, female that is in heat so the roe deer bucks they really come rushing at that sound 
So um, it's I think it's realistic that they can't they don't rush in on only the scent. So I don't expect him to show up here any second because of that. And um, actually, I didn't really have to wait that long. Actually, only the time that I was talking to you when I stopped recording, like two minutes later, I heard that call of the the buck. And um, the moose bull, of course, is still out somewhere, hopefully down, but I can't imagine he's still on his feet after the shot that we took at him. And there's another moose coming. And I think I saw the road here moving around there. Yes, looks like there. And it actually was trotting. So I might be wrong. But just to make sure... Well, no. Actually, I'm very sure that the scent still is good. Good enough. It should still be attracted by it. There is that female moose. And... Let's see if this time also a bull is around. And let's always keep an eye on that roe deer, which seems to be circling a little bit. And so far there's no bull moose. I just got a I just got a glimpse of that uh, roe deer. And to me it looked like it wasn't that big. But then again um uh as I was telling you they roam in herds most of the time. Like I think it's not called herd um, for roe deers, but I don't know the correct English word. In German, it would be Sprung. <laughs> well, that doesn't help you at all. Um, and so maybe we gotta see more than one roe deer. But it is a little bit weird that it was trotting in a different direction. Um, you can see the moose scent is still good, so why should the roe deer scent have been worn out? I don't think so. And I think I can see it again. Yes, there. What is it doing? It's really circling me. This is interesting. As you can see, the sense should be good still. Okay, now the moose is going away. And I think I think it's time to start calling in the road here just don't want to risk it. <coughs> Still I am... Um, I see it po positive that um, the road deer is not all like any animal is not 
going straight directly there it is um, towards the source of the traction and now it actually is barking what the heck how can it how can it see me or smell me from that distance this is crazy did I miss something I again saw something moving around there let's check the wind but I do have sand eliminator on ah oh shit I just sorry I put it in the wrong slot okay the wind is bad yes but should it be able to smell me at this distance when I'm in the tower that's amazing actually but just let's not give up that fast Okay guys, I'm just gonna wait it out and um, let you know. And sure enough, it couldn't resist the call. Great. And I think I'm going to use the rifle. That was embarrassing. There's another one. But that's much smaller. So this is very interesting. This is actually another disadvantage of the tower. You are very limited. Yeah, and here we go. Let's see. I think that was a miss. That was a hit. And um I'm not sure if that was the better one of the two. But um, as you can see, on this tower you have a great overlook. Let's see if we can get that other one as well. Oh, it could have been a miss. No was a hit we got both of them so it's a great tower I like it I love it <laughs> um, of course the shots are a little bit risky and I'm quite sure that um, I have one miss already now with that first shot um, so uh, all right let's go ahead and um, yeah let's leave it to the
the moose is also still out there. Okay, let's first collect the roe deers. So that was actually great fun. Um, although I'm quite sure that that first shot I took was a miss. Yes, it was. But the second one was a hit. Score of 107.7. Uh, and um, I think that was the bigger one f of the two. Still a small one, obviously. And uh, I'm just saying, um, on Hjemeldal, I saw some great videos of roe deer hunting. Well, I saw great roe deer. Um, I gotta say, I have seen the, the, the biggest roe deer that I have seen on a YouTube video on Hjemeldal, and that was a video from Billy the Crayon. Um, he seemed to have stepped into a monster road here. And this one was a small one. And, and yes, uh... Where do... where sh the, the moose should be somewhere in that direction. Um... Yeah, um, the video was too short, so I couldn't see the score of it, but still. Now that's the female. Um, yes, it looks like there's some huge road here in, on this map. And I, I think I yet have to... Uh, oh no, that's the female tracks I'm on. Maybe this one is the male. No. Okay guys, I'm gonna find the tracks of that bull that we shot and um, then you will be back with me.